The top issue on many voters' minds, besides the rising price of military-grade tactical gear necessary to get past armed poll watchers, has been abortion. To learn more about how the anti-abortion movement approached this election, we asked our own Austin Sparks to investigate. Austin? That's right. I gathered a diverse group of abortion thought leaders to engage in a fertile discussion about policing women's fertility. Take a look. Everyone here today considers themselves pro-life, though we each arrived at that position in different ways. Let's go around and in a sentence or two, please say why, of all the issues that have nothing to do with you, you chose this one. Oh, I just uh, value the, the life of the unborn babies. I mean, if you look at some pictures, um, you can see that they're human beings in growth. So, As a conservative Christian pastor uh, with the marriage and family uh, advocacy, um, we support all issues of life, whether it's abortion or any other uh, thing that we have out there. Well, I was born into it. My dad, Joe, was a major pro-life leader for many decades, but it was really when I became the father of six daughters that this became a very personal issue for me. Those unborn children uh, don't have a voice, and uh, I feel like, I, you know, I, I'm obligated as a uh, Christian, you know, to speak for them. And to speak for the women. And what do you think should be the law on abortion? Obviously, it's a simple issue, so a simple answer would be great. No abortion for any reason, and uh, we can get caught in the weeds and the exceptions, but yeah, no abortion. I think the law on abortion is that uh, the majority should be banned. And um, like I said, you, you get a heartbeat after, I think it's four weeks. Good guesstimate. Now, if a woman breaks the law, what should be the consequence? And no one take my answer, which is 20 years to life in a lady-sized birdcage. Jerry, how about you go? Oh, wow. I think this is where we get tripped up a lot because that's where, mm. that's where it becomes real for a lot of people. Yeah, let's keep um, it hypothetical, y'all. You know, when you get down to it, they're taking the life of an innocent child, and it probably should be a severe penalty for that. There's so many other ways to uh, make sure that you don't get pregnant, so I absolutely... Uh, think not only is it murder, I think it's a form of child sacrifice. I'll go even further. Women are the instruments of Satan. Now we're having a conversation. So let's talk about the pro-life Republican Georgia Senate candidate Herschel Walker, who allegedly forced women to have abortions. Does that make you doubt his commitment to the cause? Or does the fact that he still made the health care choice for the woman make it okay? Well, we really don't know what the truth is behind Herschel Walker's personal life, and we know he's been through many different phases. He's struggled with mental illness. At the end of the day, though, for voters in Georgia, it comes down to what policies are these guys going to advocate for? Because that's where it's going to affect your life, not the mm -hmm. private lives of these politicians, but policy. Absolutely. We shouldn't care what people do in their personal lives when it comes to Herschel Walker and Herschel Walker only. Okay. Um, now we're going to move on to a separate section. With Roe v. Wade overturned, many women will find it harder to access abortion care. We asked some of them for their questions, so let's take a look at these. Here's the first one. Hi, my name's Jenny. I'm 12 years old. Um, so it's hard to afford food for a baby. What's a good job for kids? Pretty good question. Uh, what do we think? Scott, how about you? Um, I would say that food is very cheap and there's help not just from you but your neighbors and your community churches even government programs um the u.s has a lot of things available okay um let's go on to the second one hi my name is sarah i'm 13 years old and on the swim team while i'm at practice could i just let the baby hang out in the water it is tough to juggle your passions with your family responsibilities uh how should she handle this um she needs to seek out a support system or the people that love that little girl need to help her seek out a support system, whether that's her parents or grandparents or siblings, uh, you know, a, a local church or, or uh, you know, a loving group. Um, th I think that's the solution. Absolutely. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Let's go to the third question. Hi, I'm Allie. My mom won't let me get a dog because she says I'm irresponsible. You think raising a baby will prove to her I'm ready for a puppy? Now, I think that would do it. Uh, let's go to the fourth question. After the experience of being forced to carry a child to term, what are some feel-good movies to cheer me up? Keep in mind, I can't watch movies rated R. It's a rainy afternoon. What movie do you throw on, uh, Jerry? Oh, wow. The only thing that's coming to my mind, Sleepless in Seattle, and I have no clue why. Jerry, weirdly, Sleepless in Seattle for me as well. Uh, now, let's go to the fifth one. If my doctor says that 
uh, labor at my age potentially be fatal? How do I explain to him that I've had a good run? It's a pretty tough conversation. Eric, how should she approach that convo with the doctor? You know, the human body is capable of, of tremendous things as, as long as we're willing to uh, embrace um, the beauty of reproduction and, and, and how things work when we don't intervene with, uh, with surgical instruments and suction tubes. Oh, sh Whoop, that sound means it's time for the lightning round. Now these are gonna be quicker questions and I will come to you individually. And away we go. Darren, does life begin at conception? It does. Fantastic. Eric, what do you hate most about fetal hydrothorax, the pulmonary hypoplasia or the mediastinal shift? Uh, you know, you can take your pick on that. All right, moving on. Scott, would you allow an abortion in a Leiden stage five twin anemia polycythemia sequence? Um, in English, please. Would you allow an abortion in a Leiden stage five twin anemia polycythemia sequence? It's still not English. Okay, uh, just a TAPS complication. Would you allow abortion? I still don't know what that is. Whoa! Darren, is every fetus a life worth protecting? Absolutely. Nice! Jerry, in the case of a selective intrauterine growth restriction, should the co-twin be held responsible for the death of the growth-restricted twin, or just the doctor and the mother for ordering the fetoscopic laser ablation and or cord occlusion? And this is a two-parter. Should an abortion be allowed if a fetus needs surgery for a lower urinary tract obstruction, and the mother can't afford the ambulance to transport her from her regular hospital to one with a neonatal intensive care unit for the viscocentesis, amniotic shunt, or cystic I think I would go with we probably should plan for no abortions for any reason. And that's all the time we have for the lightning round. Thank you all so much for your time and insight. You know, Austin, I couldn't tell you how to raise the sails on a slave ship, but I can sure tell you that operating a slave ship is the bad thing to do. We don't all have to be experts to have cogent moral positions on things like abortion. Perfect analogy. We all agree it's a bad thing to take away people's bodily autonomy. Thanks for that, Austin. And incredible work telling the difference between Jerry and Darren. Anytime, Kylie.